My time at Sandrock has amazing world building, and the story is so good. But what makes the story even better is the wonderful cast of characters you get to interact with. Did you know that there are 21 romanceable characters you can woo in this game? And you're able to date and eventually marry any of these characters regardless of your gender. And I'd like to share this relationships guide in my time at Sandrock, where you're sure to find yourself an epic romance in this epic game. So let's start. Increasing relationship points is of course the most important thing when you're aiming for romance. That said, you should look at your social menu. You'll see that the romanceable characters have hearts as their relationship gauge. Each full heart will change your relationship status with the person, and you can keep an eye on this to check on your progress. There are plenty of ways to increase relationship points. Chatting is the most basic and easiest thing to do. It may only add one relationship point per day, but it will add up if you do this plenty of times. You can get an additional point if a main story event happens and you will see how they react to it. Sparring is a friendly fighting match between you and the other person. Some characters can't be sparred with, but when you do choose to spar with someone, 30 minutes of in-game time will pass and you'll be teleported to the High Noon Arena. But don't worry, this won't cost you any stamina and you'll be teleported back to your original spot when you ask the person for a spar. Before you start a match, you get to borrow a stone weapon of your choice from the arena, so you don't need to worry about bringing your own weapon. And when the match starts, you are free to whack one another for 180 seconds. When the match ends, your relationship points increase for a bit regardless if you win or lose. You will just get a bit of goals if you win, and you won't lose any if you lose. And you can do this three times a day. Critters is a card game that you can play with most characters. In this card game, there are four animals to choose from. The NPC you're playing against will put down their own animal card, but you won't get to see what it is until you choose your own card. Elephant beats wolf and cat, wolf beats cat, cat beats mouse, and mouse beats elephant. If someone's card beats their opponent's card, then they get a point. There are four rounds to this game, and you get to draw a new card after each round. The player who has the most points by the end wins the game. You'll get the most relationship point increase if you win, and less if you get a draw or lose. You can also do this three times a day, and it won't cost you any time or stamina. When you reach buddy status with someone, you can ask them to play with you. You can check the map for locations where you can do activities together. As you progress through the game, more places and activities will be unlocked. And some activities can only be done during specific times of the day. When you do these activities, you will use up your social energy which you will see on the upper right corner of your screen. Along with a meter that indicates how well your hangout is going. Once you've used up all your social energy, you can end the play at any time. You can invite someone to play with you once per in-game calendar week. Another thing you can do once you reach buddy status with someone is interact with them. At first, you can only observe them for one relationship point. But as you increase your relationship status, you can do more interactions with them for more relationship points. And lastly, giving gifts. The most popular way to woo someone is to shower them with gifts. You can give gifts once per day, and the amount of relationship point increase depends on how much the person likes your gift. But be careful not to give the same gift for two consecutive days since this will lessen the relationship point increase. Here are some of the easy gifts that I have found for the romanceable characters. RVO's easy gifts are wooden storage which you can buy from his store and the RVO figurine which you can buy at Ceramic Gate. Burgess's easy gifts are wooden storage which you can buy from By the Stairs, water and fertilizer from his shop, and Yakmel milk dropped by Yakmel's. Ernest's easy gifts are wooden bookcase which you can buy from By the Stairs, and desert mushroom which you can gather under large trees during summer and autumn. Fang's easy gifts are wooden storage which you can buy from By the Stairs, and cantaloupe and jute cantaloupe seeds from the moisture farm. Justice's easy gifts are hemostat and straw medicine which you can buy from the clinic. Logan's easy gifts are the healing items you can buy from the clinic. Miguel's easy gifts are seeds, chestnut, coffee tea tree, and jute cantaloupe which can be purchased from Waterworld and the Moisture Farm, and the elegant flower box that can be purchased from Construction Junction. 
Owen's Easy Gifts are ceramic bottle and the Owen figurine which you can buy from Ceramic World, as well as tea leaves from By the Stairs and Rib Meat Drop by Yak Mills. Pablo's Easy Gifts are the wedding outfit, shoes, and headpiece which can be bought at the souvenir shop in City Hall and the elegant swing from Construction Junction. Penn's Easy Gifts are wooden bookcase, simple cabinet, rustic cabinet, and dining table, all of which you can purchase from By the Stairs. Cheese Easy Gifts are tea leaves which you can buy from By the Stairs and Power Stones, Data Discs, and Engine can be acquired by mining early on or you can purchase them at the salvage shop. Unsure's Easy Gifts are Power Stones and Condensed Power Stone that can be acquired by mining while Lapis Lazuli is available once the Eufaula Desert has been unlocked. Amira's Easy Gifts are Straw Medicine and Heat Stroke Medicine that can be purchased from the clinic and also Elegant Flower Box and Elegant Swing can be purchased from the Construction Junction. Katori's Easy Gifts are sunscreen and facial cream that can be purchased from by the stairs, and milk steamed egg can be crafted in the cooking station or purchased at the Blue Moon. Elsie's Easy Gifts are the pet castle, pet tunnel, scratching post, camping den, and pet sofa that are available in the construction junction. Grace's Easy Gifts are engine, microchip, and data discs, which can be mined early on or can be bought at the salvage shop. Heidi's Easy Gifts are wooden storage that can be purchased from the general store and marble slab which you can craft in a processor. Jane's Easy Gifts are all the figurines that you can buy from Ceramic Gate. Mian's Easy Gifts are sand gear you can purchase from TaylorMade, Miner's Hat from the Salvage Shop, and Rhino Horn Seeds from the Moisture Farm. Nia's Easy Gifts are sand jujube cake that can be purchased from the Wandering Wise store and various seeds and produce from the Moisture Farm including the Rhino Horn Cactus. Venti's Easy Gifts are wooden storage from By the Stairs and various medicines from the clinic. Oh, and make sure to check on your social knowledge. There are some skills that can help you gain more favor from doing any of the activities I have previously mentioned. Like getting more points when chatting and gifting, or maybe getting more action points during place and dates. It's also a good idea to befriend the people in a person's social network. You can check on the social menu who they are close with and what their relationship is with one another. Increasing your relationship status with one of the people in their social network will also increase your relationship points with them. And now that you know the ways to increase your relationships, next up would be to start dating. And yes, you can date many characters at the same time. If you're lucky, the person you want to be with might confess to you first through one of their side missions. Otherwise, you can confess your love by gifting them a heart knot which you can buy from By the Stairs. You can gift a heart knot when you're at least in friend status. But there is a chance that the character will reject your confession. The higher your relationship status with the person, the higher the chances of your confession to succeed. And when your confession does get accepted, your relationship status will change to a romantic one. They'll start to have more romantic lines, you get to see their romance missions, and you can take them out on dates. Which is the same as a play, only with more romantic lines, and hand-holding. And if you're dating multiple people, make sure you are not seen by the others while you're on a date with someone else. If you do get caught, some characters will break up with you immediately, while others can be persuaded to forgive you if you give them an apology bear which you can buy from the game center shop using tokens. Another more straightforward way to break up with someone is to gift them a dead branch, which you can get from by the stairs. Just gift this to them and you're done. And if you finally decide you want to settle down and marry someone, you have to prepare a few things. You will need to expand your workshop yard to at least level 5. Get a double bed which you can buy from by the stairs, and get an engagement ring from the mysterious man who only visits Sandrock on the 20th and 21st day of each season. You can propose to someone you have a lover status with by gifting the engagement ring. You can either gift it directly or you can gift it during a date. Or, if you're lucky again, the person you want to marry might propose to you first through one of their side missions. If the proposal is successful, congratulations! You are basically already married at this point, and your new spouse will start living in your workshop from now on. But if you want a wedding ceremony, you can schedule for one within a week after the proposal for 3,000 goals. If you change your mind, you can cancel or reschedule at the desk in the church temple. And if you like to dress yourself up for your wedding day, you can buy the wedding clothes, shoes, and headpiece from the souvenir shop in City Hall. Unfortunately, there is no wedding outfit for your partner at the time of this recording. Also, if you're dating multiple people and you get married, 
your other lovers will break up with you immediately as if you gave them a dead branch. You can also choose to divorce your spouse by giving them a broken mirror which you can buy from the mysterious merchant. And that's it! Anyone caught your eye? With this guide, you're sure to get that special someone. And if you'd like to see some tips and tricks from my time at Sandra, click on this end card right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!